criminals just trying to pay off their court costs are instead swindled out of their money, and you won't believe who's accused of taking it. A retired parole officer is in trouble, accused of stealing money from people she supervised. Good evening, I'm Eric Franke. And I'm Michelle Lee. First at 10 tonight, court documents allege she took more than $4,000. In a News 3 Investigates, the 19th Jennifer Hoff found out Sherry Buswell's first court date might not stick. Jen? Michelle, Buswell is in court uh, in Grant County on Monday to face dozens of charges, but there's a conflict of interest there that could postpone that appearance. Sherry Buswell is a well-known Grant County parole officer. She worked at the Lancaster office for 16 years, but before retiring in January, she was put on administrative leave instead. Court documents accuse the 56-year-old of stealing money from the people she supervised. Parolees use money orders to pay off court costs and supervision fees. A criminal complaint says from June of 2011 to June of 2012, Buswell deposited more than $4,000 into her personal bank account. 21 victims are named in the investigation that started when Buswell's co-worker reviewed her cases and found, quote, inconsistencies. On leave, her cases were dispersed to other agents and the parolees questioned how they could still owe so much. The money orders ranged from $30 to $300. A Lancaster police sergeant didn't arrest Buswell. Rather, she was summoned to Grant County Court. But given the conflict of interest, the judge may recuse himself and assign someone new, which could delay Buswell's first court appearance. Already, a special Richland County prosecutor is on the case that county attorney Jennifer Harper said is isolated to the one year, and she couldn't speculate on why Buswell would have allegedly taken all that money. 21 of the 67 charges Buswell faces are felonies. The DA, Lancaster's police chief, even Buswell herself declined our on-camera interview request. But I did speak to Buswell outside of her home. I went there to ask her for that interview. And guys, she did offer up an apology for the allegations I wanted to ask her about. All right, to be continued. Thanks, Jen.